Nisia Wilden here with the quickie, my three minute Q&A with notable chefs. Today I'm talking to Joe Grabat from Saks in Melbourne's CBD. Joe, hello, thank you for joining me. You thank opened you. the restaurant about a month ago and it's yep. your first solo gig. It is. Have it is. you always wanted to own your own restaurant or has this been a fairly recent development? Uh, no, I think, you know, probably from apprentice days, yeah, you always have that, uh, I guess, in the back of your head. So, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yep. And tell me, uh, the restaurant, is it, um, who are your models? Who's your inspiration? Um, I don't know, you know, inspiration, you know, produce driven, you know, chefs and look, there's, you know, Phil, Howard is a guy who I worked with for many, many years. At the you square. Know, yeah, at the square, yeah. You know, so he's someone who I have a lot of respect for, but you know, there's yeah, there's some amazing chefs around the world. So What yeah. would you say is your point of difference with this restaurant? Why should we go here opposed to uh, you know any other sort of contemporary Australian elegant food? Uh... Um, I think, you know, I, I think our, our food is just, it, it's, you know, it's wholesome. It's amazing flavors, you know, it's really, really, you know, it's not diluted. We, you know, look and source the best produce available, and yeah, it's delivered. And you know, the biggest thing this year nowadays is just you know value for money, bang for buck. Mm. So it's a really, really large um, part of the dining experience now. So yeah, yeah. all of the above. Yeah, great. Um, now, what have we got here? We've got a. Uh, uh, tell us about this dish, Joe. What is it? And, yep. Uh, so we've. What we're going to do for you today is we have a little kangaroo tartar. Um, kangaroo is probably a, a little bit an underused uh, ingredient in Australian kind of cooking. Um, we don't, on a, on a, probably more on a retail side, we don't really use a lot of it. So, um, yeah, but we've paired it today with quite classically, you know, like your darker red meats, like your venison, like your, um, um, goes really, really, pairs well with, you know, ingredients like beetroot, like anchovy, stuff like that. So we've done a really similar thing here. Um, so in the bowl, we have a little bit of um, diced kangaroo. We use the rump. Um, we cure it slightly. It, it firms up the meat, seasons it a little bit um, with sugar, salt, and um, a little bit of juniper, bay leaf, and thyme. And then we've also got in here a little bit of um, like diced, roasted red beetroot and then quite you know classic you know your um your shallot your cornichons in there and then the dressing we make uh red wine vinaigrette uh so reduced red wine red wine vinegar anchovies in there uh and then a little bit of beetroot as well it helps thicken well i think that my observation will be like a lot of your cooking it looks simple and in fact it's quite got a lot of layers and it's quite complex. It is, it is. But you know, and that's the beauty of it. Like, you know, even more so nowadays, we do do a lot of, you know, complex things in the kitchen that, you know, some diners are interested in, but you know what? We yeah, we keep those secrets back in the kitchen. <laughs> so. Good on you. Thanks, Joe. Cheers, thank you.